Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So now what we're going to discuss is how to really improve your aim utilizing the new Rampage that was introduced to Apex Legends Season 10 Emergence. So what I've done is already shunt the recoil pattern against the wall here. This kicks initially just up and then to the right and then it just trails all the way to the left and that was without a barrel stabilizer. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to shoot from approximately the same distance as I did before. What I'm going to do, let's take off the barrel stabilizer and you'll just see the shot. So while I'm shooting, what I really want to highlight here is how slow the rate of fire really is. And so I was actually standing a little bit further back, which is why I'm reshooting this just so we can get it very accurate. And keep in mind, this is at close range. So I'm going to go over here to the right. And what I'm going to do is add the barrel stabilizer and we're going to shoot again. I want you to look at the recoil. Do not pull down as much as you think when utilizing this gun. The recoil pattern is really not that overwhelming. The biggest tug that you have is to the right. So realistically, the only pull you have to do is to the left and then some minor pulls to the right at the very end. So this is a very easy recoil pattern to control, even if you're using a 3X, just as an example. And I showcase this sight because it is a very clean sight that you're utilizing. So we're going to shoot at this wall and I'm going to remove the barrel stabilizer so you see more of a kick. So when you're pulling down and you're getting a little bit of that spread, and you're controlling the recoil, you will notice how easy it is to really keep this center. And that even though it seems like it kicks up, you just have to pull down and just really adjust the shot. And over time, as you're shooting, this gets easier and easier and easier to do. Even as you're seeing me do this, you're just practicing. This is probably the best way to practice utilizing the rampage because what I'm essentially doing is I'm overcompensating for the recoil and pulling down more than I need to. And this is with a 3X. So if we use a 1X and 2X, this is an example, and then you pull down, you realize just if you pull too much, just how much the recoil pattern gets really overwhelming. And now it's so steady there. And it's even smaller movement than I than before with a 3X. And I use the 3X just to give you a prime example. So a really good exercise that you can utilize when practicing with the Rampage is really keeping your hand and aim steady. Because when you do that, I recommend standing in front of this target dummy and then just doing a slow track when controlling. Most targets will move in front of you and realize how smooth you need to keep this to really maximize on your aim. I'm going to show you an exercise in aim lab as well because the, really the goal is to keep your aim as smooth as possible. The smoother you keep it, the better it's going to be when controlling the recoil of this gun. If not, it's going to be very overwhelming and you'll end up overcompensating for the recoil and making a lot of mistakes. Even if you put a thermite on it and increase that recoil, or excuse me, increase the rate of fire more, you're going to realize just how much that it doesn't make that big of a difference to really impact. So, all right, now that we got the toggle fire mode, we're gonna add that in here. And when you heat up, the recoil pattern does not change, but the rate of fire does. I actually find this a bit easier to control using that rate of fire. Now, another one that's easier to shoot in front of it is utilizing this one in here is really just controlling it. Do not overthink when shooting the, with this gun. There's barely any recoil, recoil, and then when you're shooting with it and you're shooting at the wall, yes, it kicks up a long time afterwards, but the reality is is that this barely does kick and it's going to be an absolute monster when utilizing. So that's the biggest issue that I've been seeing most individuals when they're utilizing this gun is that they're overcompensating, overshooting. Even if you're shooting from a distance here, you'll realize right away that you can just snag headshot after headshot. You don't need to tap fire it. It is an auto, full auto weapon when shooting. And really the exercise that you have to work on in practice is keeping your aim as smooth as humanly possible. There's really not much more to this gun, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna segue into an exercise. So I showcase two exercises whenever you're in game, hit those targets there to really improve it, and even use the ones at a distance when you're trying to shoot to get that, control that recoil. And this is probably where it gets a lot more overwhelming. And you have to understand the bullet drop, and there you go, and then when you find the sweet spot, use those targets, use the one located here, Use the targets that are moving here to smooth out your aim. This is to control the recoil so you don't over overdo it. And then when you're shooting really far away, you essentially just hover slightly above this. And then when you find it, there you go. And that just, just takes a little practice because I'm doing the same thing here. And there you go when you find that bullet drop in distance. Do the same thing with the 3X, a 2x4. You can't attach anything larger than that. That's pretty much as large as you can go with the Rampage. And then let's do a quick exercise if you're going to aim train and aim lab and all you have to do is really just smooth out your aim. This is like the biggest tip. So if we're shooting, there you go, or pretty much already have it. 
nailed down pat and you will become pretty much a pro with this gun. Notice how the jerkiness is more or less just like flicking to correct the aim and keep it stable as possible. That's going to come with time once you learn this recoil pattern. You have that sway left and right and initially it feels like it's overwhelming but all you're doing is just kind of flicking left and right the horizontal and keeping it steady in the center. This is really really great practice honestly. Because before you know it, you'll keep your shot steady. And then when you do it close range here, it's like it's barely moving at all. And then there you go, GG's. So let's go into a quick exercise that I believe is going to be helpful for you in Aim Lab to help smooth out your, your aim. Okay, there's three exercises. The first one that I'm highlighting here is the arc track, just to really smooth out your aim to make sure you don't overshoot and then kind of speed it up when somebody's moving a lot faster. Arc track is very beneficial, and I'll stop moving my hand while I'm talking, which is not always the easiest thing to do. The reason why this exercise is so helpful is that you're really slowing down your aim to really smooth it out, which is very, very helpful. Now, the next exercise I want to showcase for you guys as you are practicing this more and more is you're going to utilize micro track. Micro track is very, very beneficial to really helping you get used to those fast flicks back and forth. I find when utilizing stuff like guns that have very little recoil and you're pound and bouncing back and forth, it'll help you kind of correct where you need to go to adjust your shot. I find that to be very beneficial and helpful, so I'll stop with this exercise as well. And then the last one that I think is going to be helpful for those getting used to this gun is doing Star Track. So Star Track is the same thing that you saw in game from before, but you're tracking in a, in a straight line. It's a similar thing, but at least this gives you some angles to kind of work on. And of course, it's always hard to kind of do this whenever you're talking, but it just kind of give you, again, high level from what you see, understanding how to really improve your aim and accuracy when you're utilizing the Rampage, because the recoil is just so little. Hopefully this is helpful for you guys, getting you guys comfortable with the new gun. It's really, really easy to use once you kind of understand that mechanic behind it. Even with the increased rate of fire, it's a lot easier for you to learn. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.